Japan as a country has one of the richest cultural heritages in the world, being home to various historical sites and events. Consequently, she is constantly a major tourist attraction for travelers and tourists due to there being so many museums with rich cultural and significant heritage. These museums offer a keen insight into the country's history, art, and culture, as well as historical events that have helped shape the country we see today. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a deep look into some of the best museums in the country of Japan. Number 1. Tokyo National Museum The Tokyo National Museum, or TNM as it is commonly called, is a Japanese art museum located in the Ueno Park region of Tokyo. Established in 1872, the museum is widely considered the oldest in Japan and one of, if not the largest within the country and the world at large. The museum is one of the four that is operated by the National Institute for Cultural Heritage in Japan and reportedly has a collection of just under 120,000 objects in its possession. Objects which include Japanese and Asian artifacts and ethnology. In fact, the Tokyo National Museum has around 10% of the total designated arts and crafts national treasures in Japan. Some of the museum's most prized relics include the gilt wood statue of Vairokana Buddha, a final Joman statuette, and a no mask from the Kanparo school in the 18th century. In addition to all the above exhibits, the Tokyo National Museum also has a library, a conservative laboratory, and a restaurant, which makes the museum a very lucrative location for potential tourists. Number 2. Kyoto National Museum Shortly after the establishment of the Tokyo National Museum in 1872, the Kyoto National Museum was established in the year 1897 at the heart of Kyoto's Higashiyama Ward. As of the time of this video, the museum is divided into three segments – archaeology, fine arts and handicrafts, which houses a total of 12,000 objects under its roof, with objects ranging from sculptures to arts and crafts and other forms of cultural relics. In particular, the museum is known for having an abundance of rare and ancient Chinese and Japanese sutras, as well as a collection of Buddhist art, which includes sapphires and paintings from various periods of Japanese civilization, some of which include paintings of the Vimalakirti civilization of the 13th century and the white-robed Guanyin of the 14th century. In addition to all these, the museum also conducts special events, workshops, and seminars throughout the year which makes it an even more exciting destination for anyone interested in Japanese or Chinese art and civilization. Number 3. Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum Located in Naka Ward, Hiroshima, this museum is perhaps the most iconic and one of the most visited places in all of Japan. As you might have guessed, the museum was established in the aftermath of the atomic bombing that happened on the 6th of August 1945. It was officially opened in 1955 to act as a memorial for the events that wreaked havoc on the city 10 years prior. Since its establishment, the museum has remained one of the most visited tourist sites in all of Japan, with a total of 53 million people having visited the museum as of 2005, some of whom include notable figures like Barack Obama, Caroline Kennedy, and former Nigerian head of state Absolami Abu Bakar. The museum displays exhibits of objects and photographs of the atomic bombings, as well as photographs and belongings of the victims that were caught in the crossfire, with a section of the museum dedicated to showing exhibits of Hiroshima before and after the bombings. Many who have visited this site have described it as a humbling experience that serves as a reminder of the importance of world peace. On a quick side note, if you are enjoying our content, which if you stayed this long, you certainly are please hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all our uploads. Number 4. Hakone Open Air Museum Another of the best museums in Japan is the Hakone Open Air Museum. Established in 1969 in Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan, this museum is one of a kind, as it was the first open air museum in Japan. It is renowned for its collection of various artworks and artifacts, all of which are displayed in an open environment, which, when with the natural beauty around the area, makes the museum one of the most beautiful places to visit in Japan. It covers an area of over 75,000 square meters, which comprises over 120 sculptures and artworks from various artists, including a certain Pablo Picasso. The museum has a dedicated indoor section for the legendary artist, which houses a collection of his previous works 
with paintings like Two Heads of Women and The Mystery of Picasso present in the pavilion. In addition to all these, the Hockaday Museum has a cafe, a hot spring foot bath, and a museum shop, which is sure to make the museum a must-see for anyone interested in tourism or Japanese culture. Number 5. The National Museum of Nature and Science Rounding off our list for today is the National Museum of Nature and Science. Established in 1871 and located in Tokyo, the museum is dedicated to the natural history of Japan and the world. The museum's exhibits include dinosaur fossils, a collection of Japanese flora and fauna, and interactive exhibits on science and technology. One of the museum's most popular exhibits is the Mammals of the World exhibit, which features over 1,000 specimens of mammals from around the world. The museum also has a planetarium and a 3D theater. As such, the National Museum of Nature and Science is a great museum for families and anyone interested in science and natural history. After two to three years of lockdowns and travel restrictions due to the pandemic, tourism is sure to be on the rise again. And for prospective foreign citizens who are looking for exciting sites to visit within Japan, the above five are certainly the pick of the bunch. So do let us know which museum you would like to visit in the comments section below. And hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't so far.